Hi guys, so in this video we're going to get started on designing our RESTful API to control the pins of our Raspberry Pi over the internet using HTTP requests. If you haven't watched my previous video about controlling the pins of Raspberry Pi using Python, go check that out. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Before we start writing any code, it's certainly a good idea to go over your design beforehand, even for the simple API we'll be building. You want to come up with your data model, your HTTP responses and return codes, that sort of stuff. So we're going to make a somewhat typical CRUD app here, where the server's responses are JSON data. And we're going to want to have one main resource, and that is a pin resource, correlating to a single GPIO pin on a Raspberry Pi. So before we go any further, let's think about the model of our pin resource. So each pin will have four fields to start. A unique identifier, which will be generated automatically and is separate from its associated pin number, which is the GPIO pin number associated with that endpoint. And each pin will also have an LED color and a state, which at this point will be on or off. And since we have a pin resource, we're going to want a pins endpoint. And to access an individual pin, we're going to hit the pin endpoint and then use that unique identifier. So we're going to use a standard HTTP request, get, post, put, and delete, but we'll also use the patch for partial updates. Generally, in RESTful APIs, a put request will replace every field, so it'll be a full object update. So the patch request here is not really necessary. But in order to keep our API quote unquote restful, this will allow us to just make partial updates. So our requests from our Python program that will be making these API calls, it'll just be a little more succinct since we'll only have to send one field in our requests. So let's quickly go over what we want our these requests to do when they hit certain endpoints. So we're going to want to be able to create a new pin. So we're going to make a post request to our pins endpoint with the uh, posted JSON. We'll return a uh, 201 created, so this will also return it in the body of the message. We we'll also want to be able to fetch all pins, so we'll make a get request to our pins endpoint, and that'll return 200 on success. And then when dealing with individual pins, we we'll want to be able to fetch a pin given its ID. We'll also want to be able to update a pin given its ID. So this will be a full update. We'll also want to be able to delete a pin. This will return 204 on OK with no content. And we'll want to do a partial update, and this will return 200 on success. So you can update a single field or all fields. Uh, we're going to generally be using this just to alter the state of the LED. So I made a video about setting up your Raspberry Pi with a breadboard for this project. Um, but this can all, all be found here in this repo. So I'll put a link to this repo in the description, as well as a link to the video describing this in more detail. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll start implementing this design in Python using the Flask Rest Plus framework. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you'll see when the next video comes out where we'll start writing some code.